Us medieval fans have certainly gotten used to going long stretches of time with no news or updates about the upcoming remake. And lately, medieval news has been particularly bone dry. Please clap. But thankfully, it's looking like those days might be over, at least for now, as we are going to get some sort of an extended look at the Medieval Remake this week during PlayStation's State of Play, which is kind of their version of Nintendo Direct. This should be exciting to hear to anybody who's interested in the game. We've really only gotten very small pieces of information at a time, and most of them have been spread out over months and months since it was announced way back in December of 2017, if you can believe that. This appearance on State of Play could very well be the most important info dump on the Medieval Remake yet. And I hope it is. I think it's past time that we learn more about what other Ocean and Sony are cooking up. The gameplay trailer that was released last Halloween certainly showed off the new graphics and the artistic style of the remake, which was met with fairly unanimous praise from fans, including myself. But what we didn't get to see was a closer look at specific elements. I'm very curious about how combat will be handled. Are we going to see something a little more measured and tactical, with more modern action-adventure sensibilities in mind? Or are we going to largely stick to the combat of the original game, where we just kind of wildly swing our weapons at enemies like their yellow jackets. Personally, I'd be fine with either, but I'm a little worried about how modern players might take the latter. I'm also interested in the inventory management and the HUD, how life bottles will be managed, and the overworld map. There's a lot of different directions these different elements could go in, including no direction at all, and maybe everything just stays the same but gets a nice fresh coat of paint. No matter what direction it goes in or what they do with it, ultimately, I do trust Sony and other Ocean to deliver a satisfactory product to us. So, as you might expect, I will have a live reaction to this week's State of Play as it happens on my channel. Feel free to check that out if you're interested in that. Something else that has popped up about Medieval is a possible release date leak. Whether it's a leak or just kind of a quiet announcement is debatable, I suppose, but regardless, we might just have the medieval release date right in front of us. A sheet from a GameStop with upcoming games available for pre-order, you know how sometimes they have those sitting out on the counter. One of these has been making the rounds on Reddit and Twitter lately, so even though it's not officially confirmed by any means, I think it's at the point where we should probably talk about it. The listing is for an available SKU, meaning the game itself isn't mentioned, but the release date and the price tag seem to be locked down. October 18th is the release date, and that makes perfect sense for the Medieval Remake, since it's right on Halloween's doorstep. I literally can't think of a better time to release a remaster of Medieval than right in the middle of the Halloween season. It makes perfect sense. I also doubt it's just a random placeholder date. When I worked at GameStop many moons ago, games were listed at December 31st if we didn't have the date confirmed yet. October 18th seems like way too specific to be just a random placeholder. So whatever this game is, it's almost definitely coming out on October 18th, pending any delays or other things that might come up. The price is also curious to me, $39.99. That might seem a little high considering that the Crash and Spyro Remastered Collections brought us three games from the same era for the same price, and Sean Layden has gone on record saying that we're not getting a collection of Medieval 1 and 2, we're just getting the original game. So why 40 bucks for one game here when we got three games from the other PS1 revivals? Well, one explanation could be that, as Sean Layden and others have alluded to, this is a far more in depth remake of Medieval than those games were, and it seems like it's going to have more in common with the excellent Shadow of the Colossus remake that we got last year than with the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro collections. And I'm pretty sure that the Shadow of the Colossus remake also launched at $40, and if this turns out to be true, the $40 price tag suddenly makes more sense, especially if they're throwing in a soundtrack, which I really, really hope they do. That, that would be great. I actually went to my local GameStop to see for myself, and sure enough, available SKU is right there, October 18th, 3999, so it's very real. The only potential monkey wrench I could see that would really conflict with the theory that this is medieval is that it's another game, right? It could very well be Concrete Genie, for instance, which also has yet to confirm its release date other than committing to 2019 and exclusively will be on the PS4. And 40 bucks would also make a lot of sense for that game, too. My only issue with that theory is that it really wouldn't make a lot of sense to release anything but Medieval on this date. What are they going to do, launch Concrete Genie right before Halloween and Medieval some other time? That would be a pretty weird move from a marketing standpoint and an uncharacteristic misfire for Sony's first-party releases, which are usually spaced out 
pretty nicely and launched at appropriate times. That being said, I can't say it's impossible. It could also be a totally random game that we don't know anything about yet. But given its proximity to Halloween and its price point, I think the possibilities are narrowed down quite a bit and it's probably a safe bet that this is the release date for the Medieval Remake. Not a sure bet, but I would say a relatively safe one. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have anything to add to this that you know that might confirm the theory or maybe change my mind entirely? Let me know and feel free to subscribe to the channel and continue to follow along if you have enjoyed my medieval coverage up to this point. I do plan to continue to cover the game with any news and any developments all the way up to launch and to when I give my final review. Until then, thanks for watching.